Uh... Okay. Welcome to the jail. Shoot, this is Persona. Why do I have a chain on my chest? Where'd the chain go? Where am I? What do you think of my awesome powers? This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. Okay. You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? We're in the mystery labyrinth. Pay attention. Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe? And you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out. He's so expressive. Ta-da! This is the Mystery Labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a Mystery Labyrinth. Okay. We're in the metaverse that explains everything. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. And that's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway, Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. So essentially, we're given the power to, like, stop time and investigate to our heart's content. What kind of data do you take up from the environment? We'll discover the killer's identity, too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. Hmm. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. The more complex the mystery, the more complex the maze will be. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? are also materialized into the maze so this is gonna be a tough battle so you're saying there are traps in there yep looks like you're finally getting it now that i've explained it all let's head into the dungeon hold on i i don't understand any of this seriously you don't get it uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery this one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going, the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yep, you totally get it. What? I don't get anything! This makes no logical sense! It doesn't need to make logical sense. We're in an alternate universe. Sheesh! This is why you're a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Of course I am! Okay, uh, I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. What? Why? That'll make all your worries disappear. No, it won't! Please, explain everything now! Relax, relax! I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go! Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth! Ah, uh, sorry. I forgot to mention the important keys. Let's see. You love her so much. 
<laughs> that was a little extra. That was very specific activation codes. Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that. But keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. Everyone was set on fire. Case closed. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. Here's your solution key! She just throws them up! <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's sanitary. A new key, route map. Operation log. Yay, glitter barf. It literally glittered. So this is a solution key. But why did it come out of your mouth? What do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. You put thought into this? What? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. I don't know if I want to. If only Monokuma threw up truth bullet. All right, I'll do my best. Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Testimonies of two detectives. And who died first again? Uh, well, I don't know who died first, but I could tell you who I found. Um, Zilch. It was Zilch, and the first car's infirmary. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. Knife in corpse. The infirmary was on fire, so... Smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Yeah. Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. No, but it's still a locked room mystery, right? Because the entire train was locked. Mm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. Zilch's corpse. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Oh, a flambe! A human flambe! Melamy's corpse. That reminds me. Something was off about car two, right before the train entered the tunnel. There was a strange shaking. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. Might be more than that though. And there was a blackout right after, although it only lasted a moment. Yeah, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? No. No, 
When we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. There was something else, too. Something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. Something that happened when we were in the fourth car. There was a blackout and a shaking when the car entered the tunnel. There was another shaking when the car exited the tunnel. Was it sunny when we went into the tunnel? And the next corpse was the little girl in the third car? Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. It was dark when we went into... Mm. Very interesting. The face is just barely recognizable. Oh yeah, wasn't there a secret face thing in the third car? There was a Monokuma reference when you checked the stuff there. It was sunny until you entered. Okay, so it was sunny the entire time. I thought there was a time distortion. Did I look at the bear? I don't remember if I looked at the bear. You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. After one second. Well, that's not a lot of time. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? Yeah. What do you think about that? Backup control system status was operating. Did the main control system fail? And if it did, when? Wouldn't it be crazy if this bear suddenly stood up and said, boo, 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 and he said, it's just a stuffed teddy bear. I would have remembered that. I totally didn't look at the bear. <gasps> I missed out on an EXP. Shame. Shame. Well, the train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? I even pointed out the bear. Dang it. Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? No? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Why didn't he print anything? Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. <laughs> anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. The entire body has been burnt. Zangiz, Zangiz Forte created this recorded image. It was saved in the cell phone found on his corpse. And last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. Impossible to tell who it was. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. Yeah, but the entire car? No. No, you can't use that argument because why did everyone else not leave a trail? Oh, wait. They might have been drugged by the coffee and the booze. Oh, and the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Yes. Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, according to the Peacekeeper's reports, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. Because two of them had stab wounds. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. solution key to solve it thank you for that imagery but i still don't know how to use them master you worry too much i'm sure it'll turn out fine solution keys are important to solving mysteries yours truly is important too a solution key is a manifestation of clues related to a case you can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story along sure hope you got all that down Acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking one out if a mystery labyrinth becomes too difficult to solve. There's bound to be some useful information. Shinigami's tutorial quarter. Ooh, skills. Labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, which you get when your detective rank increases. Hey, master, do you need a power up? Ooh, my inner completionist is very happy about this. Labyrinth skills can be checked and acquired in the abilities section of the notebook menu. Set whichever skills suit you best. You can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires memory cost, so pay attention to how much you have left. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. I probably should have read the buttons. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Will things really turn out fine? It'll be fine. It's just chapter zero. It'll be fine. Shoot, the door closed behind us. Oh, it's so colorful. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? I don't know you. You might lie to me. I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. You're... what? You're what? Better write this down. There are places in the mystery labyrinth where the path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the scene plays out, so keep following the path until it does. Okay. Uh, hold up. Menu, 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 menu. Solution oh, keys. You definitely want to remember this. In solution keys, you can review the info of acquired solution keys. No kitten. Dang, that's a lot of truth bullets. I was looking for abilities. Come on, pay attention. Acquire, set, remove, remove all skills, move tab left, right, move to explanation, start, end. In abilities, you can check master status as well as acquire and set labyrinth you skills. Not be skimming over this. In status, you can check master's detective rank, detective points, and the effect of skills when hey, they're master, set. Do you need a power up? In skills, labyrinth skills can be acquired by picking a skill mass you want and spending set SP. You if you activate labyrinth skills by setting them, uh, sorry, you can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires memory cost, so pay attention to how much you have left. Status. My next level up is at 190 points. Woo! Memory cap four. Strength zero. Evasion zero. <laughs> Stamina a thousand. You wish you had a cape made of shadows. Night, Tommy. Sleep well. Vitality plus one increase of stamina by a hundred. And then it branches out. Stand by me. In reasoning, deathmatch sequences shorten the assist abilities recovery time. I have no idea what that means. I'll find out later. 
increase stamina by 150. I don't know if stamina is a problem for me. Midsummer Night Feed 1. In Shinigami puzzle sequences, remove one solution key. Shinigami will barf up. Remove one? Oh, so that I have one less to worry about. I don't know if these are problems, so I'm not going to invest in them yet. Profiles. Likes Yuma, dislikes boredom. Entity, death god, ability, mystery, labyrinth, interactions. A death god contracted to haunt Yuma. Only visible to Yuna. Uh, Yuma. Yuna. Shinigami is constantly floating and bobbing along at his side. Though cheerful and chatty, this death god's sense of morality is quite far removed from that of humans. As do most gods. 60 kilos? I call shenanigans. Shinigami's true form. Her personality is no different from when she's in her spirit form, so she continues to enjoy teasing Yuma. She can open a path to the mystery labyrinth, which is the manifestation of mysteries from the real world. She has many special abilities inside the mystery labyrinth that can aid Yuma in solving it. Everyone's dead. Oh, hold up. I wanted to read like birthdays. June 14th, 88 kilos. Likes whiskey. Dislikes modern cell phones. He has an iPhone. Title, Master Detective, Forte, Photography. One of the Master Detectives Yuma met on the Amaterasu Express. Outwardly, out, outwardly. A mild-mannered old man. He has the solemn expression of a battle, battle-hardened, I cannot speak, holy crow. Battle-hardened veteran and the heir of a killer. He was once a military detective involved in espionage. Hey, Frost, how's it going? December 21st. Likes basketball. Dislikes rogues with no sense of justice. Forte life detection. Your nap was good? Yay! One of the master detectives Yuma met on the Am Amaterasu Express. An ill-bred, rude, and violent-looking man. He shouts at anyone and everyone around him in his sourly voice. He's actually a hard-working, decent person who clawed his way out of the slums and worked his way up from nothing. Holy poop! Frost is awake at 11! 66 kilos, October 4th. Likes animals. Dislikes the destruction of nature. Forte animal investigation. One of the master detectives Yuma met on the Am Amaterasu Express. He is fasti fastidious, conceited, and patronizing with a tendency toward leading the conversation and moving things along in a logical order. This old man can have fun, little lady. Um, September 28th, 62 kilos. Likes beautiful, heartwarming clothes. Dislikes ugly, non-heartwarming clothes. Forte Spiritism. One of the master detectives Yuma met on the Amaterasu Express. A glamorous woman with a keen intellect behind her flamboyant appearance. As a fashionista whose mind is often fo fo focused on clothes, she appraises other people's figures and is quick to like anyone with a body type that would suit her favorite clothes. Hmm. Fashionista? Suspicious. Poochie. She is cute. 46 kilos. March 25th. Dang it, so close. <laughs> Yet to see an anime character with my birthday. <laughs> likes classical music, dislikes loud people. Forte audio aptitude. One of the master detectives Yuma met on the Amaterasu Express. Despite her childlike appearance, she has machine-like composure and mental processing speed. When she does show emotion, it can be surprisingly intense. She doesn't socialize well, and perhaps because she avoids communication, is awkward when shown kindness. Which is freaking cute. She's adorable. February 9th, 140 kilos. Likes fatty sirloin steak, dislikes fish. Talent speed eating? Gross. Are we done the game? We just started the game, Frost. Like, I picked up the game at lunchtime. A member of the Amaterasu Corporation Peacekeepers, he loves money almost as much as he loves eating. He laughs at the misfortune of others and abuses his authority to get his way. Condescending and prideful, he's merciless towards those who defy him. Hmm. Hmm. I sped ran. 
Um, I, I like to appreciate the story, thanks. And then we have the glossary. Okay. Uh, forward? I guess? Okay. I was told I just need to trust the process. Hey, did something move just now? Yeah, I saw something fly by. Laughs at others, misfortune. Yeah, that's called sh shot in Freuda. I think we all watched America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> Just keep going, okay. Oh, that's a cue. That's a cue. Cue? Is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? No, Q is a little bean with a giant hat that keeps snacks in it. They're not exactly monsters. Q are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what materialize the mysteries. Okay, so follow the cue. Q have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinths. But since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. Oh my gosh, I, de I described Quark. <laughs> Q? <laughs> questions? Oh, questions, yeah. So in other words, they're the enemy. No, no, no. Of course, as a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. Okay. I don't even know where it went. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> oh no, it's getting bigger. What the? There are monsters here. Is that supposed to be Swank? That's a mystery phantom. A mystery phantom? What's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? I mean, Swank is a mystery. Well. If there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. It does have rainbows. That's a mystery phantom. Interfering with the case? Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? That's what I was saying. He even has like the yen sign on his pocket. If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. You. You're the culprit. No. Huh? All the other passengers on the train are dead. You're the only one who could have done the crime. It's a setup. It's a setup. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. I'm disturbed by the fact that his tongue doesn't move when he talks. Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. What do I do? Should I just run away? No, but if he chomped it, wouldn't it have fallen down? A detective doesn't run from a mystery! You gotta defeat him! Defeat him? How? With your words. Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Huh? Huh? Just say, I am. I, I am!
Um... Why does everything come out of her mouth? <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Raiden Shogun's booba sword is a little bit more tasteful. <laughs> That's what makes it more icky. Lady, please do not violate me like this ever again. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna happen like at least six more times. <laughs> Ma'am. I call it the solution blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the mystery labyrinth. Do I get to hold it? all the time so that we don't have to see that cutscene ever again. Every time I would say the same thing. Just shove it back into her face. Whoa, slow down. Uh, how do I use this? You swing it. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway. It's a sword. Do whatever comes naturally. Damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still. She think it's a different process? Oh dear. Make sure the pointy end is facing the enemy. <laughs> the more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here. Oh boy. Uh-oh. You die in the game, you die in real life, probably. Apparently what comes naturally needs to be censored by a bright light. Careful's my middle name. Come on, pay attention. After what I just witnessed, I hope I die in the life of the <laughs> Traps and obstacles lie in wait inside the mystery labyrinth. Make a mistake while facing them and master stamina will decrease. Okay, I have 150 of it. It's fine. Dead, it's game over when the stamina <laughs> runs out, so be careful as you uncover the truth. Restart from checkpoint, restart labyrinth from beginning. Ooh, I didn't save. I'm ready. Think by game. Can I? During the reasoning death match, RDM, a mystery phantom will attack Master while making statements about the case. Dodge, dodge, death, dodge. Oh no, there's fighting mechanics. Oh no. Getting hit by a statement means taking damage, so move up, down, left, and right to avoid it. Track it carefully and dodge. So it's like Donkin Rampa, but an action RPG. I believe in you. Thank you, Dabber. Come on, pay attention. If you dodge a statement at the very last second, it becomes a daring dodge. The more daring dodges you make, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So give it a shot if you got the guts. Don't you forget. The bonus, is, the, the bonus for successful da daring do dashes is based on the max amount you can dodge in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get. Don't let any shady statements slip by. Inf... Inf... Inflama... <laughs> Inflammable statements give you a chance to counterattack. Statements might contain a contradiction. Flash through it with the solution blade and fight back against the phantoms. To expose a contradiction, you gotta pick the right solution key. The key is already set in the solution blade this time. So find the contradictory, 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 inflammable, inf <laughs> inflammable statement and slash it. If you flash a statement containing a contradiction with the right solution key, you'll destroy it and damage the mystery phantom. Oh. Picking the wrong solution key or missing the timing means taking damage. Um, just some friendly advice from yours, truly. Really. Okay, so listen to it from start to finish and pick my solution keys and slash the statement. Got it. You know what they say, as long as you can take a hit, you might as well go for the big point. You know what? That's a fair point. 
I'm making up new words. Inflammable. I should have read the buttons. Okay, left, right. No. Oh gosh, jump. Everyone else is dead. You're the only one who could have done the crime. You're the only one who could have done the crime. And my solution key is coffee in the dining car. Okay. What do I do? He's treating me like I'm the culprit. What should I do? Master. You have to prove you're not, Master. Look for a clue in the solution keys. Uh, uh something that proves I'm not the culprit. I was also no, drugged. Perfect dodge. No, there's no way I could have done it. Sir, you are alive and look villainous. They, they weren't on the train. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. It's no use. Your deduction is wrong. But I was drugged. Testimonies of two detectives, photography image. Oh, 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 proof that I drank the coffee. Madonna Rafa. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Looks like there are more solution keys to choose from. The number of keys will change between RDMs. Use the correct key and slash through the contradiction in the inflammable statement. You better not be skimming over this. I already mentioned this, but attacking while the wrong solution key with the wrong solution key means taking damage, so be careful. Is that a key blade? Yes. Sora confirmed. Rebute. Da -da 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 -da. Switch solution key. ZL. Photography. Confirm. Whoops, I dodged Repeat. way too early. You knew it was no, I didn't. That's how you avoided being knocked out! No, I was knocked out! Oh my god! This guy! Other detectives were drugged! And you went around killing them all! You're busted! You took the laced coffee and only pretended to drink! Mm -mm. This is the truth! I know it's dangerous, but you don't need to move that early. <laughs> it was an accident. Zonga's photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Oh, well, that was easy. That didn't teach me anything new. Did I... Defeat it? See? No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine. As long as I'm here. I actually really enjoyed that me those mechanics. I learned how to dodge! He tried to frame me as the culprit. Suspicious. Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. What if it was the person who was stalking, um, Melanie? You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu? Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. 
Yeah, I heard fireworks I too. Now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. It, it, I mean, it's Friday night. It doesn't surprise me that people are already doing fireworks. But what do you do here, Shinigami? Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. Okay. Air quality was normal here today, and you were thrilled. Yay! The progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here, it's all thanks to me. How are you able to do this? I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. More importantly, you got drugged and knocked out. You are so pitiful, Master. No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. Huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. It just reduces your lifespan by a lot. <gasps> You're kidding, right? 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 Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? Do you have any guesses? Was I able to walk that entire time? Um, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car... The culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Ask around. Ask who? Oh, wait a minute. You can't because they're all dead. Thank you. You aren't taking this very seriously, are you? Oh man, there's so much going on right now. This looks like the intersection for another battle. She's a genius. Hmm. This place. Ew. Whoa. The path is forked in two. Which way should I go? Oh no, left or right? You love her so much. I like her personality, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know about the the thing with the sword. <laughs> that was a little weird. This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Uh huh. Uh, how do you do that? Like this. See, that's a normal way to materialize a weapon. I should cosplay her? Mm? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me? But you told me whatever damage I took in this world could affect me in the real world. <laughs> anyway, take a look. I used the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Is the culprit one of the six on the train? Probably. Is that a question? Yes, it has a question mark at the end of it. That's a mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. No, 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 no. My, mm, my gut feeling says no. Because I think it was someone like legitimately on the train and not in the train. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says yes. I don't have enough information! Then the seventh is still on the train. But hear me out. So the two people who use their powers to tell if there was only six people inside the train, the powers were kind of like limited to the cart that we were in. 
And I'm wondering if there was someone outside that could influence what was going on inside. Maybe I'm overthinking it. It could also be someone inside the train and one of the bodies was a red herring because one of them had um, undistinguishable facial features. It was me. Shoot, yes or no? Hmm. It was the butler. It's always the butler. Which is it? There's only one truth. Questions relating to the case are asked in different forms inside the mystery labyrinth. Choose the correct answers and take me to the truth. Save your game. There's a clue movie? Oh yeah, there's a clue movie. It's always the butler. Is the culprit one of the six on the train? Gut feeling no, gut feeling no, gut feeling no. So, you think the culprit is not one of the six on the train, right? Yes. Right here. That was wrong. That hurts. What are you doing? How many times are you gonna pick the wrong answer? Okay, so it tells you if you're right or wrong. Cool, cool, cool. So one's one of the six on the train. Time for a do-over. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I was overthinking it. One of the corpses so is a red you herring. The is one of the six on the train, right? Yes. Well, there was a lot less cues in there. Let's go. Fine. Can I go through now? What? You got it right? Radical master. No one says radical anymore. You're making fun of me, aren't you? The other one is wrong, so this is obviously the right answer. Oh no, he's back! Radical, dude. Uh, again? Why? I thought this one was the right answer. He's bigger now. It's trying to bury the truth again. Go get him, master! He's bigger now. Could toads cosplay him? <laughs> Should we know? Gosh, too much. Testimonies of two detectives and the Your map. Is wrong. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. An accomplice? Testimonies of two detectives map. There might be another statement. You two committed the crime. In that case, it all fits. Even if you couldn't do it alone. It was possible with an accomplice. Yeah, but what, I killed my accomplice? You created an alibi for yourself. Drinking the coffee and knocking yourself out. Drinking the coffee and knocking myself out. Right. So we have drinking the coffee, knocking myself out, and you must have had an accomplice. The keys we have is a map. 
and the testimony of two detectives. Okay. There was an accomplice. A murder could happen even while the culprit slept. Was there really someone else? Uh, An accomplice. Then there was someone else on the train besides the six of us. Your deduction is wrong. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. This is the truth. Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. I do enjoy the gameplay. Um, I thought I picked a normal or hard difficulty, but the words are flying at me really slowly. I hope it ramps up a bit because this is a tutorial chapter. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! I'll cut through your words. Peacekeeper, death report, operation what log. What good does that testimony even do? Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked! But came aboard after that. So what if the windows don't open? Well, everyone was locked out. You secretly stopped the train, didn't you? Secretly stopped the train. Operations log? That's your partner, boy. I'll slash through this mystery. Big brain. The backup control room's operation log showed that the train never stopped. The culprit must be the lady that violated us. <laughs> The difficulty at the start made no difference. Dang it! Hello. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Damn. Glad that's solved. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. I'm the bad guy. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, I was wondering if the mystery labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth. Wouldn't it reject my answers even if they're right? Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. Got a point. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real world mystery. Hm. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. Okay. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. Convenient. So it's a neutral party. By the way, without the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? Red herring! It's just a question of who. Melanie can copy the dead. Hello? Another fork in the road. That's a neat loading transition, right? This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Are you gonna slash my neck again? 
Yep. There it is. Ow. Everyone was dead, so how did the culprit pull it off? Say. Things are looking Bellamy. <laughs> Rude. This time, yours truly is gonna help think it through. You just leave all the heavy lifting to your lovely mystery labyrinth guide. Yeah. Really? That'd be a big help. Committed suicide after the crime? Doubtful. Play dead. Play dead, play dead, play dead. She's conveniently standing right in front of that door. Come on. I'm still thinking here. Don't choose yet. What? Huh? Oh. Uh, uh, I guess I'll think about the opposite door. No, I want this door. <laughs> I want that door! I'm gonna get eaten by tadpoles. Oh, I got it! Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me! Uh, wait! Oh hey, there's that chain. Dot dot dot. Play dead. Thank you. Just play dead. Really? Tell me more. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. And that's no fun at all. That's your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Our relationship can never be broken apart. Oh dear. Th th that's terrible. This is terrible, I agree. Please. You should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. Really? You fly! I didn't ask you to do that. Gosh. So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. The floor's not changing. Whoa, watch out! Never mind. See? What did I tell you? Dead end. Does that mean the door was wrong? Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing dead. I mean, I can't fly without wings. I felt that I feel that would be really exhausting myself. Yeah, she doesn't have wings. She's levitating. I also cannot type. That's okay. I can't speak. You say it isn't changing and then destroy the labyrinth. I searched all five bodies and they were without a doubt dead oh so the answer isn't played dead let's turn back no 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 no! it has to be played dead no you can't sleep tommy no this girl i mean she chose the door i was gonna choose anyways you changed your mind already exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth so awesome. Thanks for the 10 bitties, Tommy. <sighs> Thank you, CC closed captionings, for <laughs> getting beardies out of that. So it was wrong. By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. So either we reach a dead end, or we get eaten by a bunch of tadpoles. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. You could have said that a little earlier. You'll do it for the kitties. That rhymes. I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Time has stopped on the other side. 
We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. You don't like either of those options? A dead end or being eaten by tadpoles? Me neither. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. So we might as well stay here as long as it takes to solve the mystery. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. She likes you. Uh, of course she likes me. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. It's true. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Oh. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. Oh. It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. Feel their heart. That is bad. Ah, we're finally back. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. But why? Hmm. But why? Careful. No tadpoles. But to commit suicide after the crime would mean... After killing the other four, the culprit killed himself, right? Is that really the right answer? The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. But there's only one route, and it's the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off himself. We just need to find that suicidal pest. Also, if that's how it works, how do any cases go unsolved? Well, she is the only one who can manipulate this space, so if a human or a detective who doesn't want to solve the case doesn't enter this space, then that's how they grow? Right now, girl. Come on, concentrate, concentrate. Who was the last person to die during this incident? Um, based on who we found, uh, the culprit. This way. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Apex. Have I ever watched Initial D? I've heard of it. Are we trying to try, try but are we trying to find the president's daughter in Spain? Uh I don't understand that reference. Right. Because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work. It could have been Apex, and he did like a huge show of it. Who set fire to the dead culprit themselves? The victim, the culprit? Juma? Of course. The person who started the fires must be the culprit. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned himself. Wait, it's probably not Aphex because Aphex has a deep wound in his chest and the only knife in the train is in the first body that we found. 
Resident Evil 4 had a Minecraft section with time response sections. Oh. Come on, let's try Who was the last person to be burnt to death? The last person. Mm, he begs. No, he was probably the first one. No, I should go with Zelch. Hi, cat. No, it was Zilch, it was Zilch! It was Zilch! <laughs> no, but the, 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 only, the only knife in the uh, train was in the first compartment. Zilch. Hang on, the cat's getting comfortable. But you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Because he has the knife. Didn't we discover his body first? Also, keep in mind, I I mean this might be like a minor detail, but the the compartment that we woke up in that had Zilch's body, it was still very smoky, which means it was a fresh flame. She's a beautiful baby, isn't she? According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in car one, he wasn't burnt yet. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that. Is that how fire works? Yeah, it slowly dies off. Although everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. All right. So if they all burn to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Four Eyes. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Exactly, exactly. So I think, like, it started from the back car and then wherever we woke up. They generally smolder and cease, yes. Starting from car five, he killed them in order one by one then set himself on fire in car one. So, Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide, huh? But why? Why? The, the door! made it see i told you it would be fine i'm such a terrific guide yeah scary oh goal is that the end of it goal is a good thing that's a good word i guess that's everything seems easier than i thought mm, what's wrong master i'm wondering if that's really all that happened Something about this seems off. I'm gonna go with illusion. Why? <laughs> Why tell me all these all these voice actors are gonna be voicing all of these characters that they kill them off in the introductory chapter? Call it illusion. It does. Do you think so? Dang it! Ah, what's going on? Zilch killed the other the four, conclusion? then set fire to himself. Is this the truth behind the case? There's only one door. No other options. The conclusion. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion, despite five people dying. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. Wait. W wait. Was it all a dream just to know the mechanic? <laughs> mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including things like misdirection, right? She's a little too comfortable killing you. She is the god of death. Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. So you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? 
If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. What's the worst that could happen? Um, I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. Cut it down. What is the motive? A test. It sounded like it's a test. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. How do I do that? With your sword. Open the conclusion door, demolish the conclusion door. You know, Zilch never really showed off his powers. He might have been lying about them. Yay, Tess! <laughs> I kind of hope you do, and it just ends the game because you were wrong. <laughs> uh, I don't want it to be the answer. Demolish it. Demolish it. So it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. Uh-oh. He's back! <laughs> you said it just quit while you were ahead. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. Would a fake exit appear if the culprit's still alive? It's me again. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. You hope every exit from now on is fake? Can you imagine? He did seem sus. S Swank? I love this this title segment. I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. I can, and I could see be face popping because of it. They'd have to like throw you a curveball, be like, okay, so the first one was a fake. The second one has to be real, and the third one's a fake. Like they can't all be fake. Because then it's just too predictable. Mystery phantoms sometimes throw out noise. These will obstruct your vision and get in the way, so use Master's Solution Blade to cut them down. Are you gonna remember all of this? Okay. <laughs> the more noise destroyed, the bigger the bonus you'll get later, so when it pops up in front of you, be aggressive and attack. Slash the noise. So X is to rebu- uh, uh, is the rebuttal, and A is to slash the noise. So, okay, Donk and Rampa, but with a sword. The bonus for destroying noise is based on the max amount you destroy in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get. Knife in corpse, Melanie's corpse. The must be self. Reason is obvious. Delch is the only one who could have done the crime. No, 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 Melanie, Melanie, Melanie. Perhaps. See what other and statements there are. Died from immolation. Died from immolation. Oh, if you think about it, it's an easy case to solve. Four murders, one suicide. That's the truth behind the case. Feels like we're getting to the heart of the case, but something about this whole thing is bugging me. Were they relatively the same build? I can't open my menu. Yeah. Yeah, something was off when we found Zilch's body. Something was off when we found his body. Is the only one who could have done the crime. 
Olaf Florog statement. What is this game on? Switch. One more treat uh, after this segment. An accomplice couldn't have boarded the train later, so that just leaves Zilch as the culprit, right? But... Um, I don't know. Heading to bed. Good night, Chippy. I don't know. It was, in fact, us the whole time. So he must have burned himself to death after killing everyone. That seems to fit the facts, but... Was the cause of death really fire? I keep wondering about that. Oh, we're thinking cause of death. Cause of death. Culprit must be self. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. He burned the four passed out victims. Then set himself on fire. No. And died from immolation. This is the truth. No. Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. No, because there was a knife, like, in his chest. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? <laughs> you little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. It just seems excessive. Blood stains on interior lock coffee in dining car. Oh, it's faster now. Of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Stabbed himself so he would pass out easy. Then he set himself on fire. But you just contradicted yourself. He wanted to make it less painful. No. So he stabbed himself with a knife because there was no other way to knock himself out? May now, the coffee. That's true. No, he wouldn't have had to go through all that just to pass out. Coffee in the dining car. Okay, coffee in dining car. I was the knife stuck in the body. Of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Oh, that was close. Conscious. He wouldn't use the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. To cover their own tracks. Got saying Melanie. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zilch's corpse in the first car is different. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. Did they all have stab wounds? They all had a blanket draped over them. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they have no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. You wouldn't put it past them? Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. No, 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 not true. Not true. Apex had a stab wound. I 
get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zulch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. <gasps> we didn't look at the lock. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? So you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. I don't want to know how you summon your secret weapon. But I just love it when you rely on me, Master. I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? This is all for you, Master. Ready, Master? I'm not ready. Wait. Oh. Solving the mystery have to do with maiming me. I'm gonna have to ask you to not violate me like this again. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna happen at least six more times. What's going on? I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. But did you have to punch me? This is my super cute special weapon. Couldn't have you just put my little hair antenna in a pensieve? See? If you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Oh, the shock from all this is making my head spin. Oh. You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. Rude. Not until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. You have until the pain in your head clears up. <laughs> Got it. I'll hurry. Check the lock, 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 check the lock. Crime scene recreation. Check the lock. Check the... Okay, or don't check the lock. Apparently it's not important. Check the body. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? There's no blood on the blanket at all. Check the cushion! Check the cushion! Check the cushion! Check the cushion! Oh, so I can get solution keys here, too. You may have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. Those are some sturdy glasses, right? No cracks, no, no bends, no breaks. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Check the cushion, check the cushion! Huh? This cushion? Was it always there? There's no blood on the cushion either. Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. It was made by something sharp. What did this? A knife. A cushion found next to a bed, it has a hole in it, as if it was punctured by something sharp. Crime scene recreated. There's no blood! I call shenanigans? I got decked in the face for no reason. Oh, it's fading. I guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? I found a bloodless cushion. It had a knife wound in it. Or it had a knife wound. The pillow had a knife wound. <laughs> it did have a, a cut in it. I'm confused. You were there, lady. 
Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Same. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare I've solved the mystery. But I haven't. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Save my game. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. Please don't kill me again, Miss Shirigami. And we're gonna find it by working together. Working together? It has been auto-saving, Tommy. Play it all out, master! Excuse me, where are we going? Nice. Beach episode. We're gonna expose the truth together. The Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. It's the beach episode. You just lost points. I will make an effort to save when I'm given the option. What? The truth is hidden somewhere in the letters on the side of the barrel containing yours truly. Read the question, then knock out the letters in the right order. Make a mistake and the time limit will be reduced. Okay, so it's Hangman's Gambit. The correct answer is somewhere inside your head, Master. If you can not knock the letters out in the right order, I'll be imbued with the power of truth and unleash a special move that'll open up a path. Master, it's time for the solution key. By the way, if you feed me the solution keys floating around the barrel, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind, grab the key, and bring it into my mouth. But there are some solution keys you can't get hints from. If I eat one of those, the time limit will be reduced. Why though, why? Throw solution blade, grab solution key. Move pointer. Zoom in and out. But lady, please. But why? Detective Zilch's death was actually a red herring! It's a red herring! It's what I said! It's what I said. Called it! It was... Uh, letter E. Letter D. Cute bathing suit, though. That's right. So far, the aliens. Her bathing suit's not totally vulgar, though. Okay, there. A little over the top with the laser eye vision. Ooh, a chest. What? What is going on in this unreality? That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. We're back to thinking that Zilch is the culprit? That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. What's in the chest? Zilch's death was just a red herring to hide the truth. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. We're back to thinking that it's Zilch. I'm so tired. Good luck with falling asleep, Tommy. Yeah. Zilch was faking his death to fool us. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. What? But the Peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So the culprit was just plain dead. It's exactly what I said. 
In a roundabout way, yes. Which means that Dead End in the Abyss could have a new path now. Let's hurry back! Playing dead! Playing dead! Let's go back! <laughs> This is gonna be a long way back. Ma'am, can we- can you fly me to the surface, please? Uh, uh-oh. What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. You're not even walking. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. Thank you. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that comment. <laughs> I'll let you violate me if you just skip all this, please. <laughs> He's giving in. Oh my gosh. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation method thanks to my awesomeness. What does it imply? It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Now is the perfect time to use it. Warps? Z Z Z X asterisk O M Zoom? E V asterisk C. E <laughs> What do either of these mean? Zoom? Evac? Evacuate or go zoom? A mysterious force is blocking you from casting this spell. What? What the? That spell will let you escape from within a labyrinth, but you can't use it inside the mystery labyrinth. So evac, evac means to evacuate the premises. Anyway, time to pick again. Zoom. Sure. <laughs> See? Super easy. Super easy. Super tame. I can get behind that. Yeah, sure. Sure. But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of... What? Do you have MP or something? MP or something? <laughs> Was it a Dragon Quest spell reference? I don't know. Your lifespan. My lifespan? Oh no. I'm gonna die young. My lifespan? Again? So we passed through. How did the culprit pull it off, Junction? And have taken the play dead turn again. You're 97% certain it was? I wouldn't be surprised. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it a try. This is new. Mysteries. What proves the culprit played dead? Too. Solution keys can be used to break through mysteries in the, in, the, in the way. Together. Select the solution key that answers the question in front of you. Get it right, and the mystery will disappear. What proves the culprit played dead? The cushion. Um, the oh dear, red well, red herring. No, no, this is a real door. Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. The fake door was the goal. This is an obstacle. Don't look down. Bridge. See, 
didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right deductive clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Well, maybe later. Maybe later. Let Save that for when we get out. We opened the plague dead root thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. Lady, please. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. Are those cows in the back? <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't ready for that. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why's that? Let's save the fun for later. <laughs> oh, the ground! It's falling apart! No, not another train minigame. Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Great. Master, you better concentrate. I can't concentrate on you. You got me in a chokehold. Why do you insist on killing me? Was what Yuma saw through the window actually zilch? I'm gonna go with no. A, 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 A. Oh no! Ma'am, please stop killing me! Was it actually zilch? No! Wait a minute. We had already said no. My poor stamina! Yes. When I saw Zilch through the window, he was faking his death with a knife through the cushion. Oh, you could clearly see his face. That was definitely the real Zilch. Was the burnt corpse in car one actually zilch? No. How quickly did he need to body swap? The corpse I investigated was real. It just wasn't Zilch's corpse. In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Well, that sounds like a lot of effort. Zilch swapped places with the corpse in the infirmary after Yuma entered before he entered. Before you entered, you turned around to go get the fire extinguisher. Pretty fast, I assume, right? They... The corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. Was he hiding under the bed? You're making fun of me for that not 40 minutes ago. I wasn't expecting her to kill me every time I had to use a superpower. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Zilch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. Whose dead body? Aphex. to show he died from burning it was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse right in the smoke he switched places with a corpse he had hit <laughs> oh no my deduction is flawed what if he switched the bodies with Aphex Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. It was in the fifth car. The broken car. I have a feeling that the the train like looped. But it had to have looped. 
Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? Under the if bed? He needed to get to the body as quickly as possible. Only one place makes sense. Under the bed. What place is suspicious? Use the on-screen cursor to select the spot that answers the question. And you can pick the spots where the icon changes. Picking the wrong spot means taking damage, so don't screw up. Under the bed. Look, the covers conveniently cover under the bed. Here. That's it. The burnt corpse was hidden right there. Uh, hey. Oh, they're licking me. Uh, 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 stop it. Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up. Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. Gotta save my game. I love deduction games like this and Ace Attorney. You feel great when you figure things out in advance, right? I'm just hoping I'm right. But I I've changed my deduction I can't so often. It. He had the corpse hidden under the blanket? So that four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. <laughs> I'm so jealous! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Please do. I could have walked the entire time. Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife Ew. out of the cushion, and stabbed it. I thought it was underneath the that cot. Way, even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? Under the bed. It must have been someplace with easy access, which must mean. Under, under the, the bed. bed. He could have quickly hid there. Which means, if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. Oh, well now I feel dumb for not checking under the bed. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning. And that's why he let you live. Yeah, I think Zoltz was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. Oh. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. Go on. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yes. Yeah. He must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Aha! I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. Yuma, in your defense, you have amnesia. I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? Where did he get the corpse? It, it's I, it's Apex. The corpse? Well, um. Oh no, it's back! Ah, again! Again! I won't let you go any further. <laughs> Getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master. He'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. Don't intimidate him, please. Don't, don't taunt, don't taunt him, please. Huh? 
assist? It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, Master. Looks like you might not need assist after all, Master. By using assist, your partner inside the mystery labyrinth will help out. Usable when the recovery gauge is at max. I'm going to go with this slows down time. This could be the clincher. When a partner's assist is activated, a mystery phantom statement won't inflict any damage, so use it to take closer look at what they're saying. Oh, or a shield. Gucci's corpse, Apex's corpse, Sangi's. Uh, Apex, Apex. We're just going to choose that one right now. I won't let you pass. Mm-hmm. It'd be impossible to switch like that. Someone who can replace Silch would need to be the same size Ow. as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. Oh, oh no. no. It'd be impossible to get it on board. It was in his room. Anyway. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the swap. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. And Shinigami can, uh, conveniently pointed out that there is a bag that is human size. Luke Warp. <laughs> It's Apex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Apex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the truth? True. Do we get to recreate the crime scene? Wow. Who would have thought that short-tempered idiot would be used for a body swap? Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and the fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify it. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? He totally went green. I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so we gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? <laughs> please, please stop talking like that. Hmm. Um... Silch? Wait, I am not the culprit. Hello? I am a victim who was already killed. So, leave me alone! Hey, he ran away! After him, Master! It, yeah. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me, but Apex? But you went to car five after car one, and discovered his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? That'd require moving past you. That's right, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? When we were in a room? Did a door close behind us?
who's so bright? <laughs> Sans, is that you? Ooh. Branching path. Uh oh. Where did he run off to? When moving the body from car one to car five, the culprit moved through the train, did not move through the train. Move, move through the train. Another mystery that needs to be solved. <laughs> I didn't need to read it backwards. <laughs> Whoops. Move through the train. <laughs> I made that harder on myself. Thinking about it rationally, we have to assume that they carried the corpse through the train. No, that's impossible. 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 Connect the bait. Zilch turned into a mystery phantom. Get him, master. Boom killing so hard. This is promising though, right? We didn't fall. Blackout and shaking. Blackout and shaking! A body can't get from Blackout and shaking, cushion with full. Blackout and shaking. Car one to car five. Ow! Just <laughs> my face! The Ow, jeez, jeez. The corpse is heavy enough as it is. Loving a corpse through the hole. You would certainly have noticed. That means your deduction is all wrong. I'll say it once more. Not transport the corpse from car one to car five. Well, that's true. I missed the statement. Plus, when we investigated the private rooms, we kept the doors open for security. Yeah, but there was a period where we couldn't see anything. I don't remember if I saw a flash of movement. If someone had passed through the hallway, I probably would have noticed. They would have had to sneak past me too. There's no way anybody got through that corridor. Oh, wait a minute. I don't recall seeing sunlight before the blackout, so someone might have gone through the window? Past the window? If we're certain nobody used that corridor, then the corpse must have been brought in from outside the train, not inside. If so, the culprit would need to be able to pass by us without being noticed. What are you mumbling about? Just admit that your deductions were utter nonsense. Loading screen? Was I really long? Was I really wrong? Okay, no. Let's try again. If they didn't pass through the train, outlaws was brought in from outside. The windows are all locked shut. Oh, more Satan. The doors locked when the train is moving. We yes. know the train never stopped once. Yes. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. Even if you Oh shoot, out, no uh body could not get in. 
No issues happened during the operation. That's not true. Mm. Even if a corpse was carried from outside the train, we still don't know how it could have been done. Well. We're not going to figure out how the corpse was transported just yet. First, let's find a contradiction. We're getting closer to the truth bit by bit. Look through the solution keys for a contradiction. If they didn't pass through the train... <laughs> let's take the statement and she's knocking me in the face. The windows are all locked shut. The door's locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. This is the truth. Let me cut through those words. No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car four. Uh. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Uh, don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Distorted plate, bloodless blanket. Distorted plate, bloodless blanket, backup control system. Backup control system? He could have knocked out the, the control system when we were in car 2. And it said that the backup goes into play a minute later a second later a minute's too long probably a second forget the shaking in the blackout they were nothing but coincidences the blackout was just a bad contact flash through this mystery The blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. You felt like Miki ran past you in one second? <laughs> It was Sonic all along. Is there such a thing as a good phantom? After him! You gotta keep solving the mystery and boom kill that mystery phantom! Uh, hey! No! I can walk, ma'am. Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. Still don't have a motive? No. I don't know what the motive could have possibly been, because I don't know what his background is. Maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how. Huh. In that case... Ah! Ma'am! Why did you make I me stop? The mystery is blocking you! Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. No! <laughs> ah! 
The main control system was lost when car so one was. Right now. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. The shaking would have knocked it out? Well, as his mentor, I better think hard too. <laughs> the main control system failing. The blackout? The train shaking? No, I just had a ridiculous thought. It makes no sense. Oh, yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing, but the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... The theory I'm building in my head is so ridiculous that I'm like, there's no way. What if a cow rammed into the tree? <laughs> oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout too? After the whole train shook, the blackout... Ah, I don't get it. It's so ridiculous, it could be true. That's right. The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? That is time to combine our powers and solve this thing! I don't know. Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! Ah, oh, shoot, another hangman's gambit. Let's work together. The main control system was lost when car one was seven letters. Twirling, twirling, Destroyed? Twirling. E. Twirling, twirling, e. Twirling. No, it's not destroyed. There's there's not enough letter. Honestly surprised you're still up. Did you want a coffee or something? No, I had a coffee. That's my problem. Um Let's go destroyed. Is there an S? Oh no, there's no S! Deactivated. Deactive. Nope. I don't want to use these keys. Oh no, there's a timer! There's a timer! There's a timer. Ma'am, can you eat this, please? Maybe something happened to the train when it shook. Duh, 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 duh. I was running out of time anyways. Man, I'm always like this when I'm playing a new visual novel. I stay up till the wee hours of the morning. Uh, restart from last checkpoint. Le restart from Labyrinth beginning? No. We've been in this labyrinth for how long? Master, you may know the cause of the blackout. The failed ma if so. Then why did the main control system fail? How do you fast forward? Like fast mm, fast forward. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're just hold A? Imagine messing that input back. Oh my god! <laughs> Meg, but I don't know how to skip. So the main, if 
that if it's D E something. It's not destroyed. That's what if it if it Detached? Detached? We never went back to that car. Detached. He rode a horse. <laughs> I'm grasping. Laser beams. Way to throw us off. Detached. Hmm. Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? That wait, 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 wait. How did he get back on the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because... The first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. You're telling me he detached the train for that one second to slip by us? He ran back to it, duh. But... How did he get into the first car with a dead body when all the windows and doors were locked? Let's keep going for now. Shitty Gobby's like, I don't I don't understand how we've gotten this far. Mister, I don't really get it. With his feet? What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Did it just shake? Our prime suspect can control four-legged mammals. There's gotta be an animal involved. What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Yeah, why? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. What? Watch out! Okay. longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Now's not the time to be suffocating. Stop cutting out my neck. The body was transported along with the, along with the head. entire train. The body was transported along with Given that the first car was cut off, so that the body could be moved. Right. I think I see what happened. Seems like you got it. Let's do this. Play it all up, Master. Wait, That's never mind. Magma. Three letters. The body was transported along with the entire... Bag. <laughs> Not a bag. Hmm. Do you mind eating this? Apex's body was in the detached car, right? E yeah. What was three letters? The entire... The entire guy? 
the entire Grasping. B. Car. Overthinking it. I have 13 seconds. I can get that R. Car. I word well. That bathing suit's kind of cute. was dragged with the entire that's car. That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. But how did he care? <laughs> how did he carry it? Transported the corpse with the entire car? What animal is able to carry an entire train car? <laughs> oh dear. The first car is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. We don't know that because the nameplate was gone. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? Uh, um... <sighs> Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. <laughs> Calm down. Stay calm. Think. How we got this. Swap the position of the first and fifth cars. If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? Can you imagine an entire IRL crime where they move an entire train car while it's moving? That reminds me, Master. Earlier, when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout. Blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end Hear of the tunnel out. felt similar to when <laughs> the was disconnected. <laughs> There was a branching path before we went into the tunnel. What if Monsieur Zilch independently drove car number one in the branching path and like parked it <laughs> right outside the tunnel and we rammed into it? The branching path was faster than going through a tunnel. Increase the speed! Increase the speed on the car. It's the only way. It's the only way. It explains why the bed was tipped over. There's it explains no why the fire extinguisher was in the exact same right. place we For left it. <laughs> Just add rockets to it. You had animal assistance. I'm calling it. Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing. Because they're all wrong from the very beginning. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. I love it. Oh my gosh. Red herring, root map, root map, root map, so root map. It shook twice near the tunnel. Right up it. The train car was separated, connected. 
Why would that even matter? Even if you manage to separate car one, how could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. Uh huh. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. You're wrong. It's the truth. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. It's so crazy, it could be true. The first time the train trip was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, the separated car one entered. Okay, so at this point in the stream, it was 1 a.m. And we were so knee deep into the investigation. We just had to keep going, regardless of the fact that my computer just crashed. So once we were back up and running, we back, got back into it. And my head canon is that the culprit was just so upset that we were on his tail that he crashed my computer. Zush got so mad. Am I back? He got so mad he crashed my computer. It should be fine. We weren't on auto text. Oh. Artificial dang mystery is so ridiculous. Don't laugh at me, Frost. <laughs> it was kind of funny, actually. It was like, big conclusion, PC dies. Okay, so sorry. After that, the separated car one entered the other track while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. Wait, what? That doesn't explain why there's an extra track, uh, uh, an extra car, actually. Five would have had to have been missing the whole time. connected to the end of the train this is when the train shook for the second time you're right the first car moved all the way to the back <laughs> the fifth one would have had to have been missing the entire time because we didn't go through two control rooms normally it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed to drive the train. Is that better? But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Doesn't that solve everything? It's time you gave up! That probably means that my mic is too loud too because I remember bringing it down. It like, it almost went to the settings that I had prior to going live. Or, yeah, prior to going live the first time. But I'm glad we're okay now. No! That's crazy! It's so crazy, but it could work. Come on! Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end. Which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. No, but what if the fifth car was never there to begin with? Remember, the door would ne wouldn't open to begin with. Because it was like out of service or something. So... You're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. 
Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong! No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. What? Now is not the time for a beach episode. From the start, the Amatura Sioux Express was a four car, five car, four car train, four car train. For what, the bathing suit? Oh, her black dress. Maybe the Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? Who told us there was five? Could have been misleading information to begin with. If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. I mean, it, le it legit a copy pasted image on the map. <laughs> Why have two replicas of control room A and B. Huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead four? That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. Melanie did say that the fifth car's door was broken. Baking a map is easy. Yeah. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. That's because it doesn't exist. So, it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? Yeah. I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. Awkward. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. That dirty! So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. Oh, that's so dirty! car one was waiting at the station's platform and all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it so they were all in on it or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one <laughs> if there was another car one then there would be something that sets it apart from the original car one for example the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. Ooh, good point. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? How did we unlock the door? Did we cut our hand? set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Zilch! <laughs> your potential it's so strange 
It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff, more like I'm remembering it. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in a WDO. Hmm. Now's no time for bragging. You still gotta catch him! Right. We still haven't used the key with the, the blood on the lock yet. Everything feels different here. Oh, wow. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's going to happen next. You know, making the first car look like a fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Why are you so sure of that? Um, hello? Okay, it's just a transition. What is this? Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. You can't have the truth. You can't handle the fortress. truth! Just give up and leave! Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. Jump scare transition. No kidding. How did we get so far away? I'm gonna stop asking questions about this dream world. What is this doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is going on? She could have just kicked me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. To overcome the last stand of a fa phantom, tear through all obstacles with the mega size god, great onset destroyer. Me! Oh my gosh. Kick, tackle, jump. Oh dear. Blast away the gigantic iron balls released from a phantom's fortress with a corresponding kick. When an obstacle closes in and the screen slows down, press the button to attack. What? Missing the input timing means failure and taking damage, so be careful. Gotta give it to this game, though. They made a lot of assets, scenes, and models so far, right? I won't let you have the truth. Destroy huge walls when they suddenly appear with a corresponding tackle. Again, when the screen slows down, press the button to attack. And again, missing the timing means failure. Try not to take damage. Uh, tackle. 
Keep up and scram. I see. Jump to avoid the thorns that suddenly appear from the ground. When the screen slows down, press the button to jump. Be careful here, though, because mistiming it means failure and taking damage. Sorry, my brain's trying to process where I have heard her voice before. She sounds like Su Shang. Dapper, she sounds like Su Shang. Your deduction is wrong. Go away. Don't come near me. Don't come any closer. Stop it. Switching the first and fifth part is just your imagination. It's a completely baseless lie. There's no evidence they ever swapped. There's no evidence they ever swapped this. Um, 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 solution key window. There are obstacles that even God, me, can't destroy without a solution key. Open up the solution key window, pick a key that contradicts the phantom statement, and boom, slash it with Master Solution Blade. The distorted plate. No, there are traces of a swap. The warped plate from car five. I don't know if I'm right, but when when she speaks, all I hear is dodge this. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said car one. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make car one look like car five. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Enjoying this QTE event. Go away. Get away from me. Wait. Get away. It just happened to be easily burned. But with it burned, you have no way of knowing what number car it was. Chicken girl, so please do not violate me like this ever again. Production. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. I have hmm, Looks like we need another solution key. No hard Kevin. evidence. Good luck, Master. The infirmary in car 5 was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood splattered on the interior lock. Did Did we hurt ourselves? You need that attack on Titan track. <laughs> Let let's try that one. I don't remember cutting myself. There is proof. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood. Oh shoot. <clears throat> what? When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. How about security footage from the train station of the train leaving? You think they would keep that footage if they're trying to frame me? That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case. And the door was already open, so we didn't really think of checking to see if the window was already broken, but I did notice the fire extinguisher was there. Hey, we had a pretty decent amount of stamina left. I'm not done!
became car five then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go uh the control room you had to have checked the fifth car but the culprit wasn't there the control room that had no lights on It must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. A or B, I don't know if it's A or B, but. Train door, main control A, restroom. Uh, the restroom doors were both open. Infirmary connecting door. Control room A. The Airbnb. inside the main control room which was locked shut the entire time so what did we learn from this experience Yuma open all doors and look under all the beds I didn't have the key so I could never have gotten inside I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track if the trains management company Amaterasu Corporation was involved the culprit may have had the key and then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No. It's not me. I'm not the culprit. Great detective work. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off. Oh, uh, how do I do that? You have a sword. Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. The keyblade Sora confirmed. Deduction de Numa. Oh gosh, it's a comic strip. The deduction de Numa is where the truth is made clear by thinking through all the deductions upon up until that point. Place the correct piece in the corresponding deduction gap to reveal the truth. Locked pieces can be opened by solving mysteries, so keep it up, up, up. Once every gap is filled with a piece, a finale reveal, uh, revealing all mysteries will be unveiled. Everything has been leading to this moment. It's more like a lock blade. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. So, I wake up, um, I wake up in the lost and found, I run to the train, um, how am I reading this? Barely boards the train. I'm reading this like a manga. Yes, you're reading like, like a manga. Amaterasu Express ticket. Only minutes till departure. We leave. Where did Yuma rush to? He rushed to the train. Um, X? He rushed to the train. Cute. Um, we meet everybody. What was used to put the detective to sleep? Coffee. Which seems counterintuitive, but I don't have that clue yet. Uh, what was used to break the window? Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher? Zilch. What was used as a red herring? The knife. Where was the culprit hiding? Mm, under the bed. Under the covers. Under the bed. I 
I'm into bad noise. <laughs> Frost, you have no idea. What was the culprit doing in the main control room? Oh, hiding. What happened when car one was detached? Blackout. Knockout drug, blackout. We were actually, I was actually having like this internal like conversation with myself. Um, I always lean towards the same anime tropes. Uh, what did the culprit burn? Uh, the nameplate. And then what happened after exiting the tunnel? The train reconnected. Which body was found last? Apex. Um, hello? Who is the culprit? Zilch. We're gonna have to go to the beginning because that answer is locked. Uh, drugs. Also, like, look at that face. He looks like Shomi Namimoto. He, and the show is my math husband. Uh, what was the culprit doing in the main control room? Uh, uh detaching the train. Doesn't do each for you, fam. That's okay. Mystery unraveled. I didn't want it to be filled. I was ready for it to be Melanie. Step right up, step right up. Five master detectives slain before their time, and Amaterasu Corporation has master in their sights. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction game on. The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai Ward. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. All because you were fast asleep in the Lost and Found Master. If you'd kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. Who was the first person on the train so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else? I felt unwell, and Melanie went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill, but it was actually the drug. I left. The other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death, setting all those master detectives on fire on purpose. What a psycho! 
This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Better have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse! And here I ah. thought chivalry was dead! What a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. A knife and cushion created the red herring. I'll have a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While you were sleeping, oh, that I makes sense. someone come into the restroom. Uh, they must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing! <laughs> I caught a glimpse of Selja in the infirmary with a knife lodged in his chest. That hit didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. It's just like a magic trick, switching places under a veil of smoke. Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. That is so risky. What if we smash didn't the smash the window? What if our first instinct was to go get help? You would have died of CO2 poisoning. That's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. After the smoke cleared, I found Zilch's body burnt to a crisp. And suppress the coughing. That's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. Question why they put the time consuming method of roasting someone to death. Plus, the body was about the right size. I bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bed at that time. Huh. They probably left to eat from there, but never the full with the plan. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. So when the train shook, was there or was there not to be news? Take a guess. Maybe that's not important. The detached car one was running on a separate track. The culprit went to work. Preparing to disguise car one as car five. What about the jet lane? It's not important! First, Aphex's corpse was carried to the corridor, and the necklace removed earlier was placed back on. <laughs> then, the car one number plate was burned. Kitty got me, I need you to focus. So that it couldn't be properly identified. With everything in place, Culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. Well, at this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yeah, the train, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. Did it reconnect the via magnet? The tunnel with only three cars. When we came oh. out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in Grabby it hands. attached to car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient. Huh. 
but riding in car one, attached it to the back of car four. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power's still on. Focus! <laughs> After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd been some kind of brawl. But that was part of the culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. When I found the corpse, I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguise corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Is he a dead body? Oh, this is a despairingly brilliant idea! When the train arrived in Conway, we connected to a different, prearranged car one. And with that, the train once again had five cars. There's even the stab wound. Yeah, that's what gave it away. So much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trick! The peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. Yeah, it was too staged. For a train that didn't have any service, how did the peacekeepers know that they had to show up at a specific time en masse? A sole survivor. I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amateur Rassi was in on it! That really turns me on! TV show rules? This is me off, right? During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. For the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to frame me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold blooded scheme. And the evildoer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than. Silch Alexander! It was you! to be so <laughs> Lady, please do not violate my ears like that ever again. This is the truth I've uncovered. We knocked the entire persona out of him. Is that it? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now it's time for the main event. Here we go. It's my time to shine. What you gonna do? Do I want to know? Execution? Surging bloodlust. Overflowing despair. The brilliant soul of Shinigami. Shall we sponge this cursed case? Oh, hey, she has wings. Dang, that was over the top. 
None of the so far was the main event. Apparently not. <laughs> 